You asked her out? Get out. Frankly, I didn't know you had it in you. Well, I didn't mean to. She just asked for our numbers, and then I, I said we should hang out sometime. That, that's not a date. You dog. Seriously, I can't believe it. I'm going to be honest here. The first time I met you, I thought, here's something we don't have to worry about for the gene pool. Yeah, well, I appreciate the sentiment, but that's not my problem. Jack tells me men in Alabama pay for everything. That's right. Dough for a dough, money for a honey, cash for some. I think bit. he gets it. The problem is his mom bought him Roll Tide money. She bought what? Oh, no, you poor schmuck. That's worse than no money. She may as well have given you Monopoly money. No, Monopoly money's better. I know a guy who can deal with Monopoly Yeah, yeah, you said that last time. Look, is there anything I can do about this? You can reconsider your position. You got dealt a bad hand with this Roll Tide money. Just cut your losses. This is a Bama Cash knockoff, which means it's a knockoff of a knockoff of real money. Plato would turn over in his grave. But I, I gotta make this work. I, I can't just cancel over this. My mom put $300 into this crap. It's gotta have at least one date in it. What kind of a gal is this anyway? Well, she's just... She's... Well, look, I know what's going on. You're from Quebec or whatever. New Hampshire. Whatever. You spend a few days around Alabama girls, and you get starved for, su for that cynical city type they have up there. Then a girl comes along without an oversized t-shirt that covers up her Nike tempos, and you think she's frickin' Marilyn Monroe. Please, Marlo, is there anything you can do for him? The only thing you can do now is see what you can buy with it and try to make it work. I've seen it happen. Play your cards right, and a bottle of Dr. Pepper and a can of Vienna sausages can go a long way. Pull it up on your computer, fan. See what you can buy. All right. All right, let's see. Roll Tide money. Now let your money make you. Oh, this is just awful. What does it say about businesses? Roll Tide money is accepted at the following locations. Waffle Hut, Staplers, and Stapler Supplies Plus. The Stew Store? You mean the Soup Store? No, it says the Stew Store. Stuff for all your buying necessities. You know, I don't know. That sounds like it might work. Oh my god, I can't believe it. He asked you out! He didn't ask me out. He asked me to hang out. But you gave him your number, didn't you? I, I got both their numbers. They seemed cool. That's it. Wait. Wait. You asked for his number? Both of their numbers! But he asked you to hang out after that. Well, what else was he going to do with the numbers? I still can't believe you had to ask for his number. If he wanted to take you out, I think he should have gotten your number himself. Yeah, you should ignore him for three days and then see what he does. Well, he's not going to do anything. He doesn't have my number. You had to ask for his number? Oh, that's bad. Should she call him? Wait for him to call. No, let him track you down. Let what? him hunt all over the school. That's so romantic. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no. I think I'm just going to text him. Hey, check it out. She texted me. Uh, hi, this is Stephanie from before. That's it? Well, what should I say? She doesn't want to hang out? Just hi. <laughs> well, I guess I'll respond. He responded. Oh, my God. What did he say? Shh, listen. Oh, my God. <laughs> He says, hey. <laughs> a closed statement? No way. He'll have no segue into further conversation. He didn't even leave comment provoking details. Oh my god! I can't believe it. You should ignore him. You should text him nothing but three periods. Or I could carry on the conversation like a normal person. Or uh, you should text him a colon backslash. <gasps> yeah, a slanted face. Give him a slanted face. What? No. Ugh, hang on. She says... What's up? Why would she want to know that? Maybe she wants to hang out. If she wanted to hang out, why wouldn't she just ask me to hang out? Good point. He says, not much, you? I knew it! You came on too strong! Uh-uh, you didn't come on strong enough. He thinks you're dumb. Well, he doesn't think you're cute. <laughs> Don't you think you're reading a little too much into this? Text him, what's up? And then ignore him when he responds and text him again tomorrow morning like no time has passed at all. No, text him a cryptic message that he has to decode based on GPS coordinates of the in the quad. Yeah! She says, just chilling with my roommates. Should he go hang out with her? Well, I mean, I don't think she wants to hang out. If she wanted to hang out, she would have asked if I wanted to hang out. It stands to logic. She's probably just busy. Nah, that makes sense. He says, cool. <gasps> oh, my God! He hates you! He thinks you're a skank. He doesn't what? want anything to do with you. Uh, just forget about him, Stephanie. Yeah, boys suck. Uh, boys are jerks. Yeah, I'm so glad we're friends. Oh. Yeah. You know, I think I'm just going to ask him if he wants to hang out. What? No! You can't make the first move. Your hair will fall out. Your nails will fall off. You will literally transform into a man. What? Oh, this is stupid. I'm just going to... 
Ask if he wants to hang out. No! I won't let you do it! I won't let you make the first move! <laughs> hey! Give me back my phone! No! Come on! Detective call the dirt bag! Get it out! <gasps> Come on! <laughs> hey! Don't you touch my computer. Hey! Oh, and look at that! Your Facebook's open. <gasps> it would be a shame if your relationship status was suddenly... It's complicated. You wouldn't. No! no. <laughs> Just give me my phone. This is stupid. Please, Stephanie, you can't. I won't let you. <gasps> it's him. Two texts in a row? Give me that. You want to hang out on Friday? <laughs> well, that wasn't so hard. Oh, my God. He asked you out. Oh, I'm so happy for you. You didn't. Uh, uh, you know what? Whatever. Where are you going to go? Are you going to see him over fall break? Let's not rush into this. What kind of wedding cake are you going to get? What? Your maid of honor? I don't know. How many kids are you going to have? Oh, I wish it would happen to me. Yeah, I figured she wouldn't be busy on Friday. It just made sense. I hope the stew store has what you need. Well, I mean, I I guess I'll figure something out. Is not this place supposed to be down here? This is kind of sketch. I didn't even know the Ferguson Center had a sub-basement. Well, here it is. Hello, hello. Welcome to Stu Store. This is Stu Store. Yeah, I, I can see that. What do you want? Vladimir have. I am Vladimir, and this is Stu Store. Anything you want, Vladimir have for you. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of browsing. You here for turtles? What? Never mind. Mistake. Of course I don't have turtles. Ha! Turtles. What do you want? Vladimir have for you. We just want stuff for a picnic. Ah, yes, picnic. You want goat. I get you fat one. No problem. I make special price just for you. Yeah, you know what? Uh, chips or something is fine. You have... Oh, ho, ho. You want pig. Let me tell you, my friend. I have biggest pig in Ferguson's there. Trust me. Uh, I'm sure you do. No, just Dr. Pepper? Do you, do you have Dr. Pepper? No Dr. Pepper. I have Captain Sipper. What? Here, you try. You like. Okay. Ugh. Is this salt water? Fresh from Mediterranean Ocean. No, no, it's 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 not. I can see where you made it right there. You just poured old table salt from fresh foods into a bucket of water. Best Captain Sippin' Ferguson Center. I make special prize just for you. Uh, what else do you have? You want goat? I get you fat one. No, we, we mean stuff that doesn't bleed when you open it. You know, yeah, that, that'll be our new rule of thumb. You have candy? Hmm, I have sugar explosion. This is just brown sugar in a Ziploc bag. Sugar explosion! Look, uh, Jack, I, I don't know if this is gonna work, man. I, give it one more shot. Vince got a date. Uh, Vladimir? He needs to impress a girl. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Why not you say so? I give you the biggest peacock. No, no, uh, the, the, the no bleeding rule still applies, okay? Is there a restaurant or something that accepts Roll Todd money? Ah, I have for you. Vladimir's romance two-store restaurant. Very romantic. Back out in this room, I show you. Behind this curtain. Welcome to Vladimir's romance two-store restaurant. Wow. I had an interesting choice of decor. Are those Soviet flags? Uh, it might be okay. There's a donkey in here. It is mule. There's a mule in here. Hey, hey uh, Vlad. Yeah, let me let me just talk to my friend a sec. Jack, this guy's nuts. This is not gonna work. I, I'm gonna have to call it off. Call it off? Well, I, what do you expect? You want us to drink salt water and then talk about how delicious the donkey was? I can't take a girl on a date if I'm not convinced the food won't be bleeding when we get it. Finn, it's first. Finn, it's first week. Freshman year girls are going like football tickets. If you don't make a move now, she'll get sniped up by Saturday night. We can make this work. We just need to make a few adjustments. What do you What do you mean? Hey, uh, Vladimir. Yes, my friend. We'll make We'll make a reservation. We just want to change the decor a little bit. Maybe drape something over the chicken coop. Hang some curtains in front of the Soviet flags. Can, can we maybe lose the donkey? You'll cost extra. Oh, that's perfect. I don't know. She might go for it. She is from Auburn, after all. <laughs> 